All right, now to add more perspective in terms of what is expected to happen today, we are joined in by Vyond Sidhan Sibyl. And good morning to you, Sidhan. This, this of course, is a important uh, peace deal that is expected to be signed today. India is also taking part as an observer at the time when the peace deal is expected to be inked. What more can we expect? Well, uh, Mohammed, it's a big geopolitical event which is happening. Uh, the Americans signing the deal with Taliban, uh, the same Taliban they sought to defeat after uh, the invasion of Afghanistan in 2001. But talking about the Indian perspective, uh, we know that India has been invited by the Qatari leadership. The Indian envoy to Doha will be present in the room. He will witness uh, uh, the, uh, the signing of the deal between the two stakeholders. And, of course, uh, uh, this uh, event uh, marks a new beginning, a new geopolitical reality. The reality that uh, Taliban could be a major reality in Afghanistan in some form, at least in the society or in the government as well. We know that India does not recognize this Taliban. There has been no conversations with Taliban. It has been only bad memory when it comes to Taliban for India. Well, in 1999, when uh, the, uh, the Indian airline flight IC-814 was hijacked in Kathmandu and taken to Kandahar, it was the Taliban that... Uh, at the behest of Pakistanis and, of course, uh, their notorious spy agency, ISI, uh, surrounded the plane and stopped the evacuation uh, of uh, the, the people who were hostages in the plane. And those are the memories the, the Indian official uh, dome here has. And that is why there is a certain level of anxiety. And we also know that uh, the closeness between Taliban and Pakistan in 90s when Taliban was present in uh, uh, Kabul, we know uh, that uh, Pakistan had deep strategic leverage in Kabul and uh, it has been an unofficial policy of Islamabad to have right. strategic leverage in Kabul and a bleeding India. So will there be a repetition? That is something that uh, uh, will be closely watched but largely in India has conveyed to the Americans that uh, uh, the uh, in the aftermath of the deal, the territories in Afghanistan should not be used by Pakistan-based terrorists against right. India. Absolutely indeed. Now, Siddhant, looking at all of these things that are playing out. The negotiations have predominantly taken place between the United States and the Taliban. The elected government in Kabul has had very little role to play in this. You know, so to sign a peace deal, what is being described as a peace deal by the Americans, is this not the mainstreaming of the Taliban? Well, uh, this is the third time in last two centuries that uh a major superpower is uh, uh, about to leave Afghanistan. We know in 1800s, uh, the, the British left, uh, then in uh, 1989, the Soviet Russians left, and it seems that uh, the Americans are now planning to leave militarily, because this deal could pave way for the American troops to leave uh, Afghanistan after 19 years. Mainstreaming of Taliban, well, of course, it looks like New York Times started it by giving the uh, edit page uh, to uh, a major Taliban uh, leader, but uh, largely, it's seems that Taliban is expected to come back in some form uh, or another in the Afghan society, in the Afghan government. Of course, we know that the Afghan government, the, the Ghani-led government in Kabul is largely isolated by, of course, uh, uh, the Americans and, of course, the Taliban is not talking to them. The next step forward, the next logical step forward will be the intra-Afghan talks for which uh, India could play a major role. We know that the Indian Foreign Secretary was in Kabul. He met all the major stakeholders right from the uh, president, President Ghani uh, to the chief executive Abdullah Abdullah to NSA, the vice president, the foreign minister, the acting foreign minister. He met uh, all of them and reiterated India's official policy in the Af Afghan led, Afghan controlled peace process. It seems that only New Delhi is backing the Afghan government. Largely, if right. you look at all the stakeholders, uh, uh, the Pakistanis, uh, even the Iranians, they have uh, been focusing on Taliban. In fact, the Iranians are also having talks with Taliban, the Russians, uh, the Chinese, everyone is having talks with Taliban, but of course directly not with the government. Absolutely. We'll have to leave it there for the time being. Thank you very much indeed, Sidhan, for joining us and, get, and getting us all those updates. We'll of course come back to you as more details emerge in this story that we continue to track through the day.